Hey everybody, Carpe Susie, welcome. Let's do Bowman uh, Hobby number 16 right now, shall we? I mean, why not? If we're going to do one, it might as well be 16. Let's uh, kick over uh, Gnome Brace. Um, that's where that back there it is. This be who you got, as far as I think and am concerned. All right, again, poster goes into poster pile. Just tell those bastards that you're done. Whatever underlings are uh, under you or above you can uh, do the rest of it. I think is the way to go about it now. Rara is a professional. So, I mean, he can handle whatever needs are called upon him, even if it is uh, ridiculous and absurd. Unnecessary amount of uh, packs in a uh, hobby. Unnecessary amount. It's true. It is hard. It is hard work for a pimp. I mean, listen. As as a pimp, I understand. I Colton Welker to uh, two fifty per paper. Orange Shiny uh, for Austin Riley of the uh, Braves to uh, Hey, Colton Welker to four ninety nine. Refractor.
I used to work with a lady that just had like a bottle. Tony Romero for the Rays. Another like that guy again. There's gonna be like the guy that'd be like, oh my god, he's the next uh, Clayton Kershaw. Why didn't I collect his cards before? And now somebody has them. And an atomic for uh, Luis Garcia. So, congratulations on that. All right. Let's start this clean up. You can find them somewhere. I can highly recommend these uh, Coconut Island Adventures, Coconut Cashew Crunch. Um, they are, in fact, very tasty. Very delicious. And box two. Uh, James, there are in fact uh, unwritten rules about such things. I have asked on many, many, many occasions that you are only supposed to open product in a time that is like reasonably assumable that uh, UPS or USPS or whatever service would uh like get it to you on that day so i mean you know, ups not not showing up here at uh, midnight to get to get me what i need give me what i want you know i, th I think like nine in the morning is like is kind of the uh, accepted mostly accepted kind of deal now i mean it's it's unwritten rules sort of but it's still still rules to be uh to be dealt with oh yes yeah, somebody would know immediately I mean, partially because we have one of the biggest breaking operations on the planet, you know, is is, is one reason why it would, you know, immediately be become apparent. So, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crap on uh, Panini or Tops. Tops I like, so I'm not, not not gonna crap on them. We have an excellent relationship. 
with them. A uh, Brock Burke uh, refractor for the Rangers. And a Chad Spangenberg autograph for the Blue Jays. Congratulations, Blue Ha Ha. Or I guess we could find out if they are in fact watching. We could do that. Test the theory. And Austin Riley Atomic. Yeah. Go ahead and do it and then find out if we you know if anybody says something to us about it. And Ornalis uh, Sparkles. I almost want to pack stack this whole thing. I think just not to have to open packs anymore. Packs like this half, or maybe I just pack like the, the whole damn thing. Do it. Let's go balls out. Pack like it all. Why not? I could, I could, I could, I guess I could get like a, uh, like a VPN or something, Greg, and, uh, just be like, good day, mates. But then, but then that, that's the only uh, Australian that I know is good day mates. You know, I, I don't I don't know if a uh, tier one on the Barbie will uh, cover cover my tomfoolery. I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I guess there's really only one way to find out. Again, we try and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of cards. I do, Andrew. I do. Where is it? The uh, crocodile bone knife of uh, ultimate opening. Got that, so we can we can I you know I, I could I could incorporate that. All right, 
let's see how I can pack stack this thing because now I'm committed. Now I'm committed. I wasn't before, but now I am. What second job do you try and get jet a truck driver in the Middle East? No. I don't know. I mean, for the right money, I feel like you'd probably do whatever. A metric F ton. I mean, is I mean, it is a a legal standard of measurement, uh, Greg. And Andrew, you know what? I'm mean, I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, I'm you know I'm gonna have to check and see what the uh, requirements are for a airboat ride for a small person. Because I bet the baby would love that. Like she, I mean, as much as I hate everything outdoors, she wants to be outside all the time. You know, which is troublesome for me, since now, like now she can walk. She just like walks up to the front door and just like bangs on it. You know, as a let me out, let you know, let me go run in the grass kind of deal so I may have to, I may have to take her to the Everglades let her uh, let her enjoy the wonder of of an airboat ride It is a super fun thing. Like if anybody ever finds themselves in, uh, like in Miami for like a, like if, you, like if you're on, like if you're for like a week or something, hell, go to the Everglades and take an airboat ride. It's stupid fun and entertaining. There's a couple of six seven packs that, that I'm gonna have to open here. Well, I mean, if you I mean you gotta go like during the day, it's gotta be like during the day. Like you're not gonna go like anywhere near like dusk. Like if you do that, you're just a fool, and you're gonna get torn up. But like middle of the day, and like I mean now, like if you're gonna if you are gonna go like now is the time to go because otherwise it's gonna be hot as balls. But like now is the time. Now is the time to go. But like I don't know if there's like a restriction on how small a person can be to get on the airboat. But it's hella fun. <laughs> well, I mean, 28 years old. I mean, it's. it's you got you got to find a safe haven for you know for anybody. I mean I can't believe the officers didn't just immediately accept him as you were in a safe haven. Well, listen, I mean, JPW, that's all you can do. 
is try. You know, I mean, I think that's all. All the universe particularly requires is effort. Whether it works out or not, that's a whole different whole different thing. But effort is uh, what is required. Jesse is on tomorrow. Joe, Jesse will be uh, rocking the tier one boat tomorrow. I know it makes you sad as I am everybody's favorite baseball breaker. I think so. I'm going to double check with him. But if I can convince him to come in like a little bit earlier, I will. No, he uh, he was apparently at jury duty today, but did not get uh, called for service. So we'll be on tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I would have I would have gotten like the the text at like you know like you know like six thirty in the morning, saying like ah oh, they they picked me for uh picked me for a jury for a jury I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be off for the next uh, seven days. I mean, if if you're in, I mean, Fort Myers is still like a, a a fair jaunt away from us. Not as bad as somebody being in, uh, you know, Seattle or something, but it's I mean, it's still a, a fair drive. But you're welcome here if you want to come, JPW. Yeah, I mean, the checklist coming out, I think, definitely helped the uh, movement. In the tier one, and it was moving a little bit slow, like no, no, you know, no real interest. And checklist came out, and checklist very solid. Price is even uh, bumped. Uh, bumped from uh, you know resellers based on said awesome checklist. See, JPW, I don't mind jury duty. Like, I'm I'm more than happy to go. Courthouse down here, not not, not terrible to get to. They have jury only parking, which is like you gotta pay, but they pay you. So I mean, so that like washes. And I can just sit and uh Read a book or stare at internet for all day and be completely mentally washed of have to uh, worrying about anything that's going on here. So like I don't I don't mind it. Like, I mean I haven't been called in years. I got called once. Well, I got called twice. Once once they just like I like, I answered the phone like. You call, you know, like the day before, and they tell you whether to come or not. The first time, they just told me not to come. The second time, I went and served. Sent some guy, like, for 
didn't sentence him, but uh, convicted some dude for like murdering uh, another guy, drug deal situation. No, I don't mind it. Wife did like a like a two month stint in federal. Which was uh, annoying AF. I mean, I would prefer not to do it again, but I would do it again, just because why not? I mean, you, you get to uh, meet some, some weird, weird people and see some weird, weird stuff. You had to testify? Now, see, I, I don't want to testify. I ain't no snitch. So I don't want to do that. How are you in part of that? Sweet mother of mercy, we got four boxes left. See, that's like something I don't, I, I kind of don't understand too. Like, if somebody throws their kid into a river, like, how does that even go to trial? Like, does that not just get, like, handled? You know? Uh, yeah, JMS. It's a, it's a, it's a full hobby case, and after the first two boxes I decided that I would just uh, suck it up and pack stack the whole thing and then just go through it all and I'm, I am like half regretting it now but I have uh, made a choice so. hobbies pretty much as far as I'm concerned Seven years? Dude, how somebody with like a weed conviction get like 25 years and somebody that like throw, throw a kid in the river get like seven? Well, see, by, and Sean, like, don't, don't uh, misunderstand what I'm saying here. Like, if I... If I'm aware of some somebody throwing a kid in the river, I'm not snitching to the police. I'm handling that myself. Is uh, is, is is what I meant by that? I, 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 it's not it's not get, it's not getting a, getting as far as uh, police intervention if I if I see such a thing.
No, Greg, that that is absolutely true. It's it's a it's a money system. It's a money system. If you got the money, you can get you can get cleared or cleared or uh, less years. Only four left in the tier one full case random divisions. One? What? No, it's true, man. I mean, listen. I mean, I can't... I absolutely cannot tell the story online. But... I know somebody that got popped for trafficking. Like... Significant trafficking. White dude, upper middle class, had had money, had lawyer, had friends, probation. I mean, it's just. I mean, it's, it's just it's, it's our justice system is not exactly a justice system To the point of card showing so close almost almost getting there one more stack after this then we show what we've got and we show it we show it for all of the world to see Three. Uh, I I think I probably could have opened closer to ten. If we're being honest, I mean, it, it, three I could have done three cases per bot. Well, not per bot. Yeah. Three cases for every. No, maybe maybe for every box. There is a super JD, so that so he is right. He it does he it does make it worth it. 
it does make it worth it. Holy goodness. I don't need the hamster blessing for this one. He did not, but he can. Sweet mercy, that was a significant effort. That's all, I mean, that is an unnecessary number of packs. Okay. One more drink of water and then let's do this. All right, let's see what we got. Start off with a nice chrome. That one insert and that one paper always stick together ever so slightly. A uh, Stanton to 250 paper. Kevin Smith Atomic. So Mr. Dude, where are you right now? Well, no, Spectre got pushed. Spectre got pushed. It's like Spectre's back to like the 17th. Orange Shimmer autograph for Roberto Ramos of the Rockies. Come on, man. A Chad Spangenberg for the Blue Jays. What is there to see, Andrew? Is there something special or just, uh, you know, just like, hey, this bus showed up, I'll get on it and just see where it goes. Dude, I want. I don't know why though. It, Ruiz to four ninety nine. I mean, Spectra, Spectra. Okay, what, what's it? What's an FTOL box going for? Because Panini does undersell this things. A Harper to two fifty.
Oh, more beaches, more ladies, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, I got you, dog, I got you, I see, I see, I see, I see. It's like, uh, oh, like that Van Damme movie. Oh my god, I have a, I have a new place that I need to go before I die. I need to see some drunk tourists fighting fighting each other for drinks. I mean, in sanction a Longoria to 4.99. Oh my god, I need to see that in a bad way. A Jonathan Hernandez atomic. And I also need to enter the ring and uh, claim my free drinks. Oh. I only I only fight for booze. That's I don't I don't fight for women. I don't fight for money. Only five for booze. A Luis Urias rookie autograph, Atomic for the Padres, the one fit or the one hundred. Oh well, I mean, listen. I mean, I I, I trained Muay Thai in the Philippines in like the well, like ninety yeah, ninety no like that yeah, like ninety seven ninety eight. I mean, I, ba I mean, I basically, I mean, I didn't get kicked out, but like, they had had enough of my American ass. Is what is what is 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 was the be like the best possible translation. So then I came, I came back to the states and you know finished college, but I did, I did uh, Muay, Muay Thai over there for I know, almost three years. A Vince Fernandez for the Rockies. Shimmer to two ninety nine. Oh my god, I want to see that. I mean, if you can I mean if there's any possible way for you to take any picture of just the like you know, setting of the whole thing, Mr. Do, I would love nothing more than to see it. Oh, I, I mean, listen, I mean, I always wore gloves, too. It's not, I'm not saying, you know, you, you're going to go, like, bare knuckle act. I mean, that's going to slow down the fun. But, I mean, with Muay Thai, you know, it, it's not the punches. Elbows and knees. Colton Welker, Atomic. Is where, is where, the, is where the fun comes for that. Uh, Joey wins to 150 paper. I mean, Andrew, how far do you think you're going to go? I mean, I've seen you. I think you can, uh... I think you I think, I mean, I th I would I would bet on you for at least one round in, e in an even matchup. Even matchup, I bet on you.
No. Listen, I've I've seen you, Andrew. We've met. I know you're like some kind of like you seem like 007 ish kind of uh you know slick to me. Like you know you'd get like a knife jab to the throat before that small Thai child could uh, could even do anything. A hey, Vlad uh, Canary to seventy five. Then you would just sit down, get your uh, get your bucket, and uh, you know probably you know sell it off to, to other tourists. I know you're squirrely. You can tell. Scherzer to 250. A Bart Atomic. I really have got to... Uh, Try and make a make a plan to go to the Philippines or something. I you know I, I I have got to learn to be better with my money and just not keep blowing it on garbage every month. But try and uh, save so that, so that, so that I can go on a trip to a place where they uh, you know, oh what. Do you have? I mean, okay. My, I'm gonna be honest. My geography is 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 not is not the best in uh, in that area of the uh, world. But is are you getting any effects for this uh, this typhoon that's uh, coming through? Is that is or is am I just again an, an ignorant Westerner who doesn't know a damn thing about anything? A Granky to four ninety nine. A uh, Rylan Bannon atomic. Oh, Ra Ra! I'm thinking you and me. There was a typhoon in India, I think. But then the Philippines, other side, man, I don't know. I don't know. But Ra Ra, I'm thinking you and me. Philippines. Who dies for a uh, dude? I'm uh, I'm down for that. I mean, the only problem is it's not going to be me because I because I got a kid to watch out for. So so then that would mean it would be you, but then I would save you, and that would like in that would turn into some kind of like movie deal. I think our story. About us going to the Philippines. So I'm pretty much thinking we need to do that. So that we can uh, both get go, both get paid. Okay, uh, let me get, grab a box real quick.
White Sox, uh, no. No, rah, rah, I mean, I will, I will save you from whatever happens. Like, you're going to, I mean, again, that's going to be part of the story, is, is how I save you with my superhuman strength. And it'll probably involve me, like, having, like, one Bowman base card of Jay Groom in my pocket that I will take out and... Phew, Sling across in some fashion to stop whoever is getting ready to kill you. You know, like popping them in the eyeball or something until I until I can get there and properly take care of it. Uh, Justin Verlander. Uh, I'm gonna call this like Doo Doo Brown to uh, 25. I mean, it's just who who do you want to play you in the story? The Pete Alonzo Atomic. I mean, just to best capture me, I'm thinking, uh, what's, uh, the, uh, the guy that plays Thor? Like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking him. For me. And after meeting you, I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe, maybe Bradley Cooper plays you. Just to like best embody, you know, who, who you are. A Mason Martin Pirates Blue Refractor Autograph to uh, one fifty. No, I mean I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking like I mean may I mean Bradley Bradley Cooper perhaps. Ooh, maybe Christian Bale plays me and Captain America plays you, perhaps. Pete Alonzo to 150. Yeah, that, oh, I mean, that would be a, ni a nice combo. Uh, Khalil Lee, uh, the number 79 in the Bowman Scouts for the uh, Royals. I mean, listen, the first thing that needs to happen is we need to go to the Philippines. We need to get into some fights. We need to have Mr. Do there so that he can video all of this so that we can then take that to some studios. And I know a guy that might be able to get us some ends with some studios uh, to, get, to get the story sold. So, that's okay. So, you buy your ticket. <laughs> Zach Kalvinak is in it. Wow, Greg. Wow. The positivity in this room tonight has just been staggeringly low. It has been just nut punch after nut punch after nut punch. I do like that show, JPW. Although I'm not getting locked up. This would be a perfectly legal. An Augustine Nationals autograph. A perfectly legal Filipino bar fight to the death. You know, I mean, I'm sure that's like part of the Constitution or something there. So, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I really am getting the feeling that our epic hero story here is getting just, uh, I mean, just buried with this Zach Galifianakis, Ed Helms, Kim, uh, <coughs> Ken Jong business going on. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, Chris Hemsworth and uh, Chris Evans 
as like you know e- e- interchangeably me and Ra Ra. And you guys are talking Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. I don't think I don't think you're understanding like the scope of the film that I'm discussing. Well, Carl, I kind of wish, but wifey and no likey dopey. So, uh, the Impaler to 250, uh, purple refractor for the Rockies. But if it is if it has gone too far for you, Carl, I will. Dial it back and focus upon the uh, Bowman as a break. Because sometimes I get carried away. Rarely, but sometimes. Hobby is just a little bit more difficult to go through. Because, I mean, jumbos are very balanced in the way that their packs are set up. That it's papers, chromes, inserts, numbers, papers, chromes, and papers. If they're, in fact, you know, the prerequisites for the aforementioned spots. Whereas Hobby is, like, always a little bit different. Uh, and Alonzo to 250 for the Mets. Pete's still doing well. Uh, the last time I checked, uh, my Gator guy, that, uh, that they didn't even wait to uh, call up to get his uh, extra year because they wanted best available squad, has been doing uh, swimmingly. I love getting contributions to the uh, Major League Baseball. Oh, the Will Farrell, John C. Riley. Well, then we got to fight over who's going to be John C. Riley. A hurt fifty from twenty-seven. Uh, in Bowman's top 100 for the uh, Brewers. Seventy six are down by two points, you mean? I think you may have uh, accidentally bumped your finger on the uh, two there again. They cannot possibly be down by twenty two points. And orange ready for the show, uh, Mitch Keller to twenty five. The Pirates. Dio Hall, uh, Orioles, Atomic. I just want the Bucks to win. The Bucks are my choice of uh, of of team to be to be victorious. So if you can bet against that, go ahead and do it. Hey, Blake Rutherford, uh, four ninety nine for the White Sox.
All right, so you're telling me that the 76ers are falling apart at this point and or have given up. A Vlad Guerrero Junior base autograph for the uh, Blue Jays. I believe that is a uh, filler team. And a uh, nice autograph. Once he hits his stride, that's going to be legit. That's that's orange, orangey orangey uh, duty paper for uh, Kalomi of the Mets. Are the uh, What what's what's the series? Who's up in the series? MJ Melendez uh, sparkles. Dude, I, dude, you gotta give Vlad more than like you know. You gotta give him like tw you know twenty games or something. Oh damn, it's a two two, and they're and they're still wrecking them like that hard. Wow. I thought you were going to tell me it was like a 3-1 kind of uh, kind of situation. Yeah, talk to me about Vlad when he has 150 at bats. Let's. I mean, you know, I I'll even go 125 at bats. You know, I mean, everybody just thinks. I mean, dude, dude should hit for the cycle. You know, in the in the first game that he plays, as as a 20 year old rookie. Coming up through a minor ball like a like a fireball, you know. Like I mean, give the guy a minute. You know that may that makes me wonder if anybody can do it since I since I am a little bit uh, involved here out of curiosity. Can anybody tell me what Mike Trout's first forty at bats looked like in the uh, in the majors? I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that I know and I'm gonna be like oh yeah he screwed it up too but like out of curiosity. A uh, Aidman to uh, 125. I mean, or anybody else of like import for that for that matter. Like just just out of curiosity. A uh, Taylor Trammell to 499. Well, Zach, see that's what that's what I'm curious to see. So that's what I'm curious. I mean, like again, I don't know, but I was like, I, you know, I kind of like after the stream is over, I'm gonna look up like a fistful of guys and just see what they did in their first hundred at bats, like in the majors, you know, and just and just see. 
It, I mean, just out of curiosity, a Bo Bichette one twenty-five. I mean, I know it sucks for people hanging on to, uh, you know, Vlad cards. They were thinking, he would, the, again, that he was going to come and hit like five home runs. 220, five home runs and 135. I mean, yeah. yeah that's, I mean, that's not, uh, that's not a mate. I mean, it's not bad. But it's, I mean, it's not, it's not something that if I saw that, I would like go running out to be, to be buying trout cards either yeah Soto and Acuna I mean yeah I mean yeah they may have skewed things a little bit because they were stagnantly good how are they doing somebody told me they were doing like no so bueno year two Uh, Libertore to Wait, who who plays in a foreign country? A uh, Pash to four ninety nine. Fayedo Atomic. A Baruki autograph, rookie style for the Blue Jays. Well, I mean, Ted. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna say that, then technically the Marlins play in a foreign country too. Lazardo to uh, 125. No, they d they do have uh, they do host ball games, Zach. Um, I mean, and they are they are official major league uh, major league sanctioned events, even. Hey, Jonathan, India to fifty. So technically, the answer is yes. They do play ball games. A Chisholm to uh, one fifty refractor Diamondbacks. Well, I mean, I don't know. De depending on who you talk to, kids play for life. Some people consider Miami like a foreign country. 
because of the uh, predominance of uh, the Spanish and Cuban culture here. I mean, I guess technically, uh, you know. Orange Shimmer for uh, Joey Wentz to 25 with the uh, Bravos. Yeah, dude, my uh, a friend of mine. He, I don't. I get his his dad knew somebody. What they got like they got like Diamond Club seats, right? So they got like him and his son went to the uh, Brave or the, was it the Braves? They went to the Marlins game like two days ago, and the Marlins pitcher. I don't even. I, I did not even know the guy's name until he. Uh, until I looked it up when he when he told me, but the, the Marlins pitcher gave gave the kid a bat, and he got a, an autographed ball from uh, the catcher that I had in my mind like three minutes ago, but don't but don't now. But like I don't even know. I mean, it, it's it's a lady that like my wife is like very 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 good friends with. And like I know her, I know her husband, like her kids. Like I don't love ki I don't love kids in general. So like you know, it's not like a big deal. You know, I just you know, I don't I don't like them. Not them in particular, but just kids in general. But he's like a big like James Harden fan and Steph Curry fan. So I've given him a bunch of like base cards that I've uh, yanked out of stuff here. Well, he he wanted to FaceTime me to send like to tell me that he had gotten this bat. Which I can't, I can't even imagine that he even like remembered that I existed to do such a thing. But he could not have been happier to get this uh, pitcher's bat and uh, maybe it's Jorge Alfaro. Is Jorge Alfaro catching for the Marlins? Well, I know, but I mean, he didn't know any better. That I mean, that, that to me, Andrew, that was kind of the thing that I'm like. The a, a pitcher gave you gave you his bat like you know why and who cares? But that is what this has like jaded to me. No, I mean it was. I mean it. it I'm not even kind. I mean it's kind of like okay, you know, like great. Why why are you FaceTiming me at eleven thirty at night? You know, on a random number to tell me this. And Ian Anderson Atomic. I'm sure it was awesome for him. But I was just like, you know, okay. And it makes me feel sad about myself. Is is the moral of the story. It makes me feel sad about myself. That I wasn't like hyper excited for this kid. I mean, I pretended to be, but I wasn't hyper excited. That he, I mean, that a professional baseball player at the end of a baseball game took the time to give this kid his bat. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean mad respect to the uh, to the pitcher, whoever that guy, whoever that guy was, and Augustine Nationals, the four ninety nine refractor autograph. I'll figure. I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll check out who it was. I, I will remember the name when I see it. He, he even won the game, so that. I mean, so that was nice. But I'm almost just like too. Too deep in sports awesomeness. To be affected by things anymore. And it almost makes me sad. Cole Tucker to 250, purple refractor. For the Pirates.
Yeah, it was Caleb Smith, Zach. Exactly. Exactly who it was. Like I said, I would rec I would recognize the name when I looked at it, but it, yeah, yeah, a Caleb Caleb Smith uh, wasn't it wasn't autographed, but uh, a Caleb Smith bat and a and a Jorge Alfaro uh, autographed baseball from the from there. I mean, he was decked out like in an old school Marlins jersey, which which probably helped some things. A Keegan Thompson to a one twenty five. I mean, the kid's a huge baseball fan. Like, I mean, he plays baseball. He's, you know. And a, and a good kid, too. And again, like, I do not like the kids very much. But, I mean, he's a solid, solid kid. And a, and a ladies' man at that. The wife told me this story. That, like, I... Like, there was some girl that he used to like. And I, th I mean, I think this kid's like eight or nine, maybe nine or ten. Let's say between eight and ten. And like some girl that he used to like, like, you know, like finally came up to him and was like, "Oh, I like you," and he was like, "Oh, I like you too." You know, very, very kid like. A Logan Webb Giants purple refractor autographs two fifty. And after that, he like he went up to like his best friend and told him like I'm back. Like how he was away, I'm not sure how he how he even understands the concept of uh, being uh, here and not there. I don't know, but it's just insane. I mean, kids be cray, frankly. Kids be cray. An atomic aidman for the Cubs. And we are done with this. So, autograph wise, we will view this in this way it is a Logan Webb purple refractor autograph for the Giants. A uh, Augustan Nationals Refractor autograph. A Baruki Rookie Blue Jays autograph. A Vlad Blue Jays autograph. An Augustan Nationals. A uh, Mason Martin Pirates uh, Blue Refractor to 150. A Vince Fernandez Sparkle Rockies to 299. A Urias Atomic to 100 for the Padres. A Spangenberg Blue Jays, a uh, Ramos Orange Shimmer to 25 for the Rockies, a Spangenberg Blue Jays to 499 Refractor, and a Romero Rays Base. Thank you, everybody. We will get to it out too.